What's up, everyone? I'm back with another episode. I was gone. Now I'm back. Dropping the gems. If you're here to listen, you know we're here. We're about to drop some value for you. It can be money, relationships, sales, business, business development, personal development. If you're into all these things, you're in the right room. And I'm going to bring you value. I think today a good topic for us to dive into is what's going on in the industry and what's going to happen in the next couple years. I'm going to tell you right now, it seems like after you gain the skill of being a barber, you're going to need to continuously start developing other other skills. I don't think anyone ever talks about this either. It's it's critical for you to take care of your health as a barber because it's such a physical there's a big physical aspect of the job. Standing for long periods of time, using your hands. Um you know, uh barbers sometimes they work all the way until they're old. And you know, if that's what you want, that's awesome. Don't get me wrong, that's awesome. At the same time, some people use it as a stepping stone to get into other things. I've met people when I first started that end up doing other things. They get into real estate or they just completely change the avenue of where they're going. And it was a lot of the times people don't realize that barbering or any type of service tech business is a good stepping stone into the bigger uh, into something else. So, what I'm trying to say here is that our industry needs to understand that there is other avenues you could take if you do the right things. You're just going to sit behind the chair the whole time, your whole life, and maybe not build a social media presence, then you probably are going to have a difficult time getting into other things. Because I think being on social media is very important now compared to 10 years ago where if you wanted to just work at a shop, you could. You could just go into any barbershop. Uh, you know, a lot of walk-in business was coming in. And it seems like that era is fading away within the next 10 years. I'm thinking it's still going to be there, although it's not the same. So a lot of the youth, the younger people are looking at Instagram to hire their next barber. You know, some people actually care about the experience. You know, ask yourself how your experience is going with that. Um, and there's a lot of successful barbershops that give the tools for other people to create a successful career in their barbershop. And I've personally met and got mentored by some of those people. And, and it's awesome. I love that, that there's actually people that are willing to go the extra mile to develop something that difficult. Uh, I see the industry in the next five years to be evolving, uh, to have people charging more. It's going to be competitive because the whole licensing thing is changing. It's easier to get your license. I'm in California. You only need a thousand hours now. So in about six to nine months, you can be licensed. And also, there's just not enough trainers out there that are willing to take people in under their wing. The experienced barbers now have an opportunity. They have an opportunity to now educate the younger people. But if that's what you want, you can start doing that. But if that's something that you don't want, then that's not going to happen. You know, I got into training by accident. You know, I own my barbershop. I've been owning it for four years now. And, you know, I hired my first first barber or I got my first barber on my team and at the time I, I didn't really know what I was doing I thought I did and you know I hired my second one he didn't know how to cut hair and I saw that as an opportunity to learn how to teach at the same time I saw how difficult it really is so I think that's a big space right now for somebody is to start learning how to teach people how to cut hair, how to develop the skill set for you to build your clientele, build the skills, the skills necessary for you to 
build rapport with the people that are coming to you. Everybody goes through a sales process with their customer. And if you don't really understand it, you don't believe it, then you're missing out on the bigger picture here. Um, you know, I, I love my industry and it's brought me to where I am now. And I, I, I like to talk about it and I think it's necessary to talk about besides just haircutting. It's, it's a lot more than just haircutting. You know, some people are, are don't even, I'm not speaking for the majority, I'm just really saying generally, some people don't want a barbershop anymore. They feel it's good to just rent a station somewhere or work on commission. And that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. If that's not what you want, you think you're, you are, you don't want that responsibility in your life and you think you're going to get into other things, then don't take that on as it takes commitment, dedication, sacrifice for you to step into that realm. But if you're willing to take the challenge, I say go for it. It's the best thing you could do. It's the best thing for whatever you think is good for your life. So if you're willing to sacrifice a couple years to build something up, then I say go for it. There you have it. That's what I think. The today's podcast was more about where I think the industry is going to go in the next five years. I think it's critical for you, for the senior barbers to start learning how to teach, learning a sales process that you can study online about. How many people are, are you seeing? Some people don't even know, you know, when they come in, when they leave and the opportunity that's going to be arising for everybody. The senior barbers can now start educating the younger barbers. For the right, the right leaders need to be in place for these things. So if you're into this, start educating. Look for someone you could take under their wing and keep at it in the industry because it's rewarding. It's fulfilling and you can build a great future with it. So thank you for listening. If you did, I'll catch you guys on the next one.